You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. Breakup pain for the dumper. What is the dumper thinking after going through the breakup with you? And this may shock quite a lot of you, but they're in a lot of pain, believe it or not. It's just a different version of what you're going through. But most dumpers, in my experience, they don't dump you because they hate you or they want to hurt you. In fact, in many, many cases, the dumper still cares about you a hell of a lot. But they've just come to the realization that a relationship with you, a romantic relationship with you, isn't working right now. And maybe they're thinking it's never going to work. So that's how they feel right now, that the relationship with you isn't working. Their idea of a relationship is different to your idea of a relationship. And that's why they've made the decision to break up with you. But some of you will be sitting there thinking, well, my ex cheated, they monkey branched, they rebounded. And yeah, that's a shitty way to go about a breakup. But you must understand that is not a reflection of you. That is a reflection of them and the pain they are experiencing by realizing that a relationship with you is no longer viable. So that's what I'm going to get into today. Without further ado, welcome back to The Love Fix. It's Nick, as always, doing my best to get you through your breakups as easily and as healthily as possible. If you need my help with your personal breakup situation, you can email me at thelovefix20 at gmail.com or hit the coaching link in the description below and book your session with me. If that's not enough for you, come and join the wonderful Facebook community, which is growing by about 100 members a week now. So it's really taking off. Go to Facebook, type in the Love Fix Breakup Recovery or hit the link below. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Pretty much every time I've been in a position of where I am the dumper, I've been dating someone for quite some time. I really care about that woman, been in love with that woman, worship that woman. But it's got to a point where my needs are no longer being met or maybe I'm not meeting her needs anymore. We're growing in different directions. We just have different ideas about what a relationship should look like. Maybe it's a case of I've outgrown her and... I need that person to be on the same level as me or we're grown in different directions or they just don't have the tools to be in the relationship that I want. Now, this is coming from a place of being selfish, which is okay. We're we're allowed to do that. And one day, maybe you'll be the dumper and maybe you'll reflect back on this and you'll come and listen to this video and realize, okay, I understand what Nick was talking about. But right now you're the you're the dumpy and you're looking for answers and that's what I'm going to try and give you right now. So as someone that has been in that position of being the dumper, I've never once set out to hurt a person, hurt a woman. I've never once set out to just randomly end it because it was getting difficult or challenging or I got bored or anything like that. No, I very much every time went through heartbreak before the breakup because I wanted things to work. I wanted it to work out with that person. I still cared for that person. It was just, I didn't see a romantic future with that person. And that was the heartbreak is that, you know, putting all that energy and investment into that person and realizing, waking up one day and realizing, wow, we're just not compatible anymore or we don't have the chemistry Or we just got very different ideas and we're heading in different directions. And is this going to be the right mother for my children? Is this going to be the wife that I want? Is this going to be the woman that I need and want? Because here's the thing, and I tell everybody this. You have to be the person for the partner you want to attract. So if you want a good man that has got his shit together and he's on his purpose and does all that good stuff, guess what you have to be? You have to be the woman for the man that you want to attract and you have to be the man for the woman you want to attract. So maybe you started off well. Maybe when you met that person, that's exactly what you needed in your life. And somewhere along the line, you've just split into two different directions and hey, holding my hands up here, that's when I've been the dumper. Maybe I could actually not, maybe definitely I could have communicated my needs and wants better. 
I could have communicated that to my partner at the time. And she could have communicated to me better. And there have been times where I have communicated exactly what I wanted and what I needed. And what I wanted to see changes in and compromise on. And that message was never received by the person I was dumping. So after weeks, months and maybe even a year of trying to communicate those needs and wants and that going unheard. It gets very frustrating very quickly and I think in most cases dumpers do the dumping because they don't feel heard because we we're selfish creatures that's what we are and i think if we were to step back and realize that okay what it's not about what my partner can do for me what can i do for my partner and if your partner was saying the same thing okay it's not what i it's not what they can do for me what can i do for them then you automatically meet each other's needs but we're very selfish and like no this is my needs and wants and needs and wants are okay they're fine you know you have to communicate them but the first thing i think we should be asking ourselves okay what can i do to make this relationship better what can i do internally how do i turn up for myself and how do i turn up for that person now somewhere along the line that message is not heard it's not received it's not understood or it is and we just fall back into hold habits and that's i think where a lot of breakups happen it comes down to poor communication values are not aligned and that typically happens i sadly come across all the time where people have been together 5 10 15 years and they was never compatible from day 1 maybe they had different religious views political views one wanted kids and the other didn't want kids and they would hope that 10 years down the line they'll change their mind and they split up or maybe you got lazy you got complacent maybe you were anxious insecure always accusing them of cheating or not being there enough for you or maybe you just don't have your shit together maybe you don't have enough going on and you've outsourced everything to your ex who dumped you because it became stifling they don't feel free and that's the thing we have to love in a way that the other person feels free so that's just my perspective on being a dumper where i've gone through heartbreak just as i would as a dumpy i've gone through heartbreak because i've realized that as much as i care about that person as much as i love or loved them it's not going to work it won't work long term it's not sustainable we're just different too there's too many differences or they're just not the person i thought they were or they're not turning up for themselves so they're not turning up for the relationship and that my friends is savage it's it's heartbreaking when you sit there and go through that you wake up one day and just realize oh my god i love this person so much but i can't be with this person anymore anymore you can love someone and not want them you can love someone and not want a romantic relationship with them because it's it's no longer enhancing your life it's now detracting from your life and the one thing when it comes to relationships the one thing i want above all else well there's one thing i don't want i don't want a headache and the one thing i want above all else is i want peace this person should be enhancing my happiness not detracting from it you know and it's not about never fighting fights are necessary but it's not how you fight sorry it's not why you fight it's how you fight it's how you resolve these difficult situations and it is about having these difficult conversations early on and it is about calling out each other's bullshit in a healthy way not sweeping it under the rug until it becomes toxic and it blows up so that a lot of the time is what the dumpers are thinking and in no contact they are a lot of the time going over in their head could i have made this work should i give this another chance they are a really good person but i dumped them for x y and z because maybe they're not emotionally available maybe they don't know how to express their emotions maybe they're so distant disconnected and avoidant that you feel like you're just laying next to a piece of meat and they're not really there because their mind is in 10 other places all at the same time and they're not present 
And I've certainly broken up with women because of that, because they don't feel present. It's like, right, okay, you're always thinking 10 steps ahead. You're always thinking about the future and you're never here. You're never present. So I have news for you. Tomorrow never arrives and yesterday was never here. We have now, we have now and that is it. So I guess that's my personal perspective on what does a dumper think and does the dumper go through the pain? Yes, and if they are rebounding, if they are monkey branching, that's how they've chosen to deal with the pain. It's not a reflection of you, it's a reflection of them. They're not trying to hurt you, they're trying to not hurt themselves. They're trying to soothe the pain of the breakup with your romance, with your romantic relationship. That's what they're trying to soothe. I hope you found that informative and I hope you're okay. I know it's tough. Being a dumpy is is fucking tough. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. But I promise you, being a dumper isn't far off from that feeling. It's pretty sad. It's it's a dark place. And for someone that's been on both sides of that fence, I've dumped women that I truly, truly fucking cared about. And I wanted it to work. I really fucking did. But you get to a point and thinking, right, we're just we've got different styles we we've got a different communication style we've got a different lifestyle we're just not aligning we're not on the same track and that is truly painful for a dumper so try and step back and don't let your ego make this about you even though you're in the worst amount of pain you can imagine right now them dumping you isn't necessarily about you it was about The relationship you two had together. And as in that romantic relationship no longer works for them. It's not really about you. Unless you've been abusive or you've been stifling or you've been you've been just like this heavy weight on them and you're making them feel miserable, then okay, maybe it is a little bit about you. But they've chosen what they feel to be the right path, and that's always okay. So I'm hoping that's gonna give you some clarity. I'm hoping this will allow you to step back and just say, right, okay, you know think there were incompatible things here there were things that didn't align we were always arguing about silly stuff and we wasn't resolving it we do have a different lifestyle i'm an introvert she's an extrovert i like going out early she likes going out late we have very different religious views very different political views i want kids she doesn't all those kind of things but i promise you whatever your situation is you're gonna be okay You've gotten through every breakup so far, every anxiety anxiety spiral, every heartbreak. You're still here and you'll get through this. You are enough. I promise you, it's going to be okay. You will be okay. And I'll see you on the other side.